Hello, my friends. This is Mariana Crawford, and welcome back to another episode of Glam MC. Today, I'm going to be doing a quick get ready with me, and you guys are welcome to follow along with me. So the first thing that I did was I used my coconut smoothing primer. This is a moisturizing primer that uh, has both moisturizer and primer in it, and I put that all over my face. I have a little dry patch here, so I felt like doing a hydrating primer. I do have oily skin, but the more I moisturize my skin, the less oil I produce. So that's why I chose that one. I also use my NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base on my eyes. And I'm going to start with my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and conceal with my Jouer Concealer. hope you guys are having a great day I'm really excited for this look my eyeshadow um, with the Jaclyn Hill palette it always comes out really nice I hope I didn't jinx it but I've created so many looks with this palette and it's the original palette and I love this palette so so much and I don't get enough use out of it I'm gonna go ahead and start with this palette this is my Jaclyn Hill palette beautiful shades and I'm gonna start. And I'm gonna start with this one. Just a, a brown transition shade in the crease. This one is like a pinky brown. This palette is very affordable. If you're looking for a very affordable palette that you can do pretty much anything with, you can Purple, blue, greens, um, neutral, red, gold, colors, pink. It's, everything is in this palette. I'm going to go ahead and take a smaller brush and go into Creamsicle, which is my favorite color to put at the top to peek through. All right, next, I'm going to take that same brush. And I'm going to take the highlight shade and pop it in the, in the corner. And on the brow bone. I'm going to use a smaller brush and I'm going to get a little bit more precise with the application. I'm going to take a little bit of this shade and put this on the sides. I'm going to create a halo eye. I haven't used this color in a long time and it was my favorite when I first got the palette. All I wanted to do was play with this one and Pool Party. Jade and Pool Party. You know you love a palette when you know the names of the shadows. This palette now in Morphe is in Ulta so you can actually get the palette in Ulta. I'm gonna take the same brush clean it off a little bit and take this shade and put it in the in the crease to deepen up the crease a little bit more I'm going to get a little closer I'm going to deepen up that crease again I'm putting the excess out to the outer corner towards the brows and just blending it as much as possible so that there's no harsh lines. I'm going to take pool uh, creamsicle again and retouch that very top part so that the creamsicle can shine through and I'm going to take a deeper brown and put it in the crease. And this brush is very pointy so you can get into very tight spots and lightly go over the actual line of the crease and be very precise. This is the E45 by Sigma. 
So I'm taking the dark brown, which is mocha, and putting that in the outer V and putting, placing it right above the green in the crease. Okay, I'm taking a clean brush and blending that together. Now I'm going to go back to the shimmery shade and I'm put that in the middle. Now I'm going to wet my brush all nighter and I'm going to take a little bit of the highlight shade and put that in the center to highlight the center part of my eye a little bit more. Perfect. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the brown, the mocha, and I'm going to put that on the lower lash line. I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs. This is Odie. Odie is like a teal green as well, just like the eyeshadow. And I'm going to put that on the lower lash line. I'm going to take my Tom Ford eyeliner and do a very small thin line. I'm going to take my Dior Show. Dior Show is an eye um, lash primer and that eyelash primer is really good to make the mascara that you're putting on look a lot more uh, voluminous. So I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes first. Okay. I'm going to use my TARDIS lash paint mascara. This is my favorite. What show are you guys watching at this time? I am into the um, Winona Earp. She's like a demon killer with a gun. It's like um, she's in Arizona, I think. Yeah, in Arizona, and there's uh demons in her town, and she shoots them, and they go to hell. And that is the show that I'm into right now. Can't stop watching it on Netflix. And I'm reading the book Odd Thomas for the third time. And there's a movie that came out with Odd Thomas. Odd Thomas is, is based on the book by Dean Koontz. And it's a really good movie if you want to check it out. And the book is better, of course, because it has more information. And the whole series, if you're looking for a nice series to start, um, book series to start. The Odd Thomas series is really good. I highly recommend it. And so now for my brows. If you guys have any show recommendations that you want to give me, let me know. I'm always watching shows. I watch um, Friends a lot <laughs> and um, Gilmore Girls a lot. But okay. So now I'm going to do the rest of my face. I'm going to zoom you out. Um, to my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and put my foundation on. For foundation, I'm going to go with my Fenty Beauty. Shake it up. Put some on my hand here. This is 210. And I'm going to put a little bit of my D Bronzy from Drunk Elephant. This just gives it a little bit of a glow. A bronzy glow and I mix them together put them all over my face
if you guys have any recommendations on stuff that you want to see, do you want me to um, get on the new Fenty, um, the new Fenty concealers and review them, or the new ColourPop I Love Sarah Heat palette or something like that? Just let me know. I will I will buy it and review it for you if you guys want. If you have any video ideas, let me know in the comments. Lately, I've been needing some inspiration. Some um, I'm in a video rut right now, which I don't want to be in. So if you have any suggestions or any recommendations, please let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. And that is the complexion products. I'm going to set my face with my Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier Translucent is one of my favorite for having like a silky smooth blurring effect on my makeup. I really like this one a lot. It's one of my favorite powders. But Fenty Beauty came out with a new powder and I saw the review that Shea did and I loved the way her skin looked. It brightened and it was like a violet um, powder which is totally completely different than anything that I've ever seen so that's pretty innovative I think and Fenty Beauty always goes above and beyond she they always surprise me um, and I love their products so I, I think I'm going to pick up that powder to check it out and see for myself if it's better than Laura Mercier or not that'll be cool to to see mm -hmm. okay so I use my contour and medium Kevin Aquan. This one is the one that I use all the time for contour, for my shading. I'm just gonna go. Very lightly dust that off. On the bottom of my cheekbone. A little bit under my lip makes gives the illusion of a plumper lip, so put a little bit under my lip. I haven't done that in a while. And I'm gonna use my Hula bronzer to bronze my skin. I'm using the PT Love, and I'm gonna use the orange shade for my blush. And I'm just gonna lightly put the orange it has little tiny specks of glitter in it. Little itty bitty tiny flecks. All right, for lipstick. For lipstick, I'm gonna give me, I'm gonna use this one. This one is Nathan, and this is Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick. They dry, dry down, uh, very matte, and they stay put. And they're very lightweight on the lips. You barely feel them. That's Nathan, but I think I want a little bit more of a orangey look. I'm going to use Mind Trick. There you go. Mind Trick is a little bit more deeper in an orange shade, so I went ahead with Mind Trick from ColourPop. So that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!